Assalamu alaikum students I welcome you all to AppSex online support program Our topic for today is homonyms In this lesson we will recognize what homonyms are and learn how a word can have more than one meanings through examples Students incorporating a thought for the day is a very good habit So today's thought of the day is if you can see a positive side to everything you will be able to live a much richer life than others What does that mean It means that it is easy to be happy when things happen as per our expectations but when we encounter difficulties or unexpected setbacks in our life then it becomes necessary for us to keep a positive attitude to see the positive side of things it is only with the positive attitude that a person can turn any unfavorable situation or a weakness to one's own benefit This is an English language lesson. Our topic for today is homonyms. Our objectives for today's lesson. Today we will learn what a homonym is, identify examples of homonyms, compose sentences highlighting the different meanings of different homonyms. Our success criteria keep both the meanings of the word in mind while doing your work. Okay students so now what do we mean by homonym? The word homonym consists of two syllables homo and nim where homo means same and nim means name that means homonyms are words with same name so now you might be thinking what is the meaning of same name same name means the words having same spellings and pronunciations but is there anything different to yes their meanings their meanings are completely different from each other the word having same spelling and pronunciation but different in meaning are called homonyms for example foot and foot can you notice the spellings both the spellings are same and the way i am pronouncing the word is also the same but the pictures show you the two different meanings of foot same in the next picture glasses the spellings are same the way we pronounce it is absolutely same glasses glasses but the two pictures are showing you two different meanings of the word so now we know that homonyms are words having the same spelling and pronunciations but different meanings okay now let's look at some words with more than one meaning The first word we are going to look at is bat. Can you see the spelling? B A T bat. Both the words spell the same. Both the words are pronounced the same. Bat, bat. But the pictures are showing you clearly the meanings of the two words. The first word's meaning is the piece of equipment usually made of wood to hit a ball in sports the bat we play with the second bat means a mammal with wings you can see the picture as well now let's use the first bat in a sentence 
I hit the ball using a bat. Now, using the second bat in a sentence. I am afraid of bats. Students, did you notice the spellings are entirely same? The pronunciation is exactly same, but the meanings of the two words are completely different. Okay, now here is another example. Now we are looking at the word bark. The spelling is B A R K, bark. Both the spellings are absolutely same and they are pronounced the same as well. Bark, bark. Let's look at the first meaning. The first meaning is the cry of a dog. Let's use it in a sentence. The dog barks at night. Now come to the second meaning. The next meaning is the tough protective outer layer of a tree trunk. Let's use this bark in sentence. I saw ants crawling on the bark of a tree. Now did you notice the spellings are absolutely same. Their pronunciation is same but the meanings are completely different. Okay students, now let's play a guessing game. Can you guess the word that means the long nose of an elephant and it also means a large box with a hinged lid for storing. Come on, think. Correct. The word is trunk. The first meaning of trunk is the long nose of an elephant. And the second meaning of trunk is a large box used for storing objects. Okay students, now let's do a quick recap of what we have learned today. We have learned that homonyms are words with more than one meaning. That means that homonyms are words that are spelt the same, pronounced the same, but they can have different meanings. Okay students, now coming to your home assignment. Your assignment for today is to circle the pictures that describe the underlined word. In the first sentence, did you fly on an airplane? The word fly is underlined. Both the pictures with this sentence show the two different meanings of fly. But you have to circle the correct picture that describes the sentence. Second sentence is all of the words were spelled right. Now you have to circle the correct picture according to the sentence. The third sentence I am feeling well today. Now which well I am talking about in this sentence please circle that picture. The pictures are very easy to be drawn. You can write the sentence on a paper and draw small pictures along with the sentence and circle the correct one. Do your work neatly and send it to your teacher on time. Okay students, so now today before leaving I am going to talk about self-hygiene. Why is self-hygiene important? Why we should keep ourselves clean? Correct, because if we keep ourselves dirty, we become sick. Students, washing yourself and staying clean can kill and remove illness causing bacteria from your body, lowering the risk for diseases. So good hygiene is key to good health. By following some basic personal hygiene habits, we can stay healthy and fit. 
bathe regularly trim your nails every week brush your teeth twice a day wash your hands before and after every meal yes follow these basic steps and keep yourselves clean okay students thank you